How to Train Your Dragon, <laughs> the live action movie, is getting just destroyed by fans out there. And the reason is because they are doing the same thing. The race swap, uh, Little Mermaid, everybody has to be a little black girl now. And that is uh, what they're doing in all media. Hollywood really just hates white people. I, I, I'll call it for what it is. A lot of people dance around these words, but they are racist. They hate white people. They hate you. And they want you erased. They want you destroyed. And they want you replaced. It's very simple. This is this is not a conspiracy. It is happening. It's happening across media. It's been going on for a long, long time. Obviously, like you just look at it. Like I said, the Mary, the the, the Little Mermaid, uh, Mary Jane in uh, in uh, in Spider Man is now Zendaya, right? Uh, who I know she's MJ, not Mary Jane. Come on. Uh, but uh, and then what else do we have? April O'Neil from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, now, now a black person. This is what they're doing across all media, and it is intentional. It is something uh, that is an agenda. Uh, and it is born out of hatred for a certain race, which is white people. That's what it is. And so now the director has responded because uh, criticism has uh, come up on this. Now, this was uh, mentioned uh, several months ago, like people knew about this. And then it just went viral again this week as people were uh, you know, talking about this again as it got confirmed. And, uh, and now we've got the response of the race swapping. And you can, you can guess how this is going to be word salad uh, and, uh, and, uh, and justified uh, is going to be crazy. So hit the like and subscribe button as we get into this here, guys. Really appreciate you for being there and for supporting us here. This is our Fandom Pulse Substack with John F. Trent. He used to be the editor-in-chief of Bounding Into Comics. He's the man whose articles all your favorite YouTubers read. And so it is uh, the the, uh, the quartering, Friday Night Tights, uh, Yellow Flash. All these guys uh, have been reading his articles. He is the frontline journalism here that you get the hard hitting news. Now he's moved over to my Substack with me, and we are uh, avoiding the ad revenue model because ads uh, just suppress us, and Google suppresses us. Is what it comes down to. So we'd like you to get on here, become a paid member, please, and support us. We totally rely on viewers like you to uh to do this journalism unfiltered and we are doing eight to ten articles a day it's, we're doing a lot we're trying to do this full time and keep this going so please grab this it's only five dollars a month not much uh and we appreciate all the paid members who did so we just launched this month uh huge huge numbers so thank you guys for the support so far i'm also a um a writer and so if you like uh, how to Train Your Dragon, all the like fantasy setting stuff, like uh, a nice little thing for that's all ages appropriate. This is great. Uh, check this out, The Adventures of Varen Von Monocle. It's a six book series. The whole family can enjoy it. It's a lot of fun, a little something for everybody. Um, no woke agenda in it, so you'll absolutely love this. So check it out in the description below and uh, and grab it. It's on ebook, print, and audio. Uh, good Christmas gift for anybody, like I said. So thank you so much for the support of our art. So how did you tra train your dragons live action director, Dean DeBlo? who wrote the animated films responded to the plethora of criticisms levied at the decision to race swap Astrid by casting Nico Parker in the role. In a post to Instagram, Du Bois shared his thoughts in response to a user who wrote, I swear y'all have to let go of, oh, Astrid is white, not black, and okay, it's not about, uh, and okay, it's not about the color, it's about the acting. And plus a Latina person of color voiced her, so what are you going to hate the voice actress now? So you see just how he does this and how he just like pretends. Now, again, they, they, this is the, the standard mantra. It's not a big deal. Why are you upset that it, you know, we just chose an actress because she's the best actress. We didn't choose her because of a certain race or anything like that. Well, if that's the case, how come there's never any traditionally black characters who get cast as white women? How come Black Panther is never, uh, uh, you know, cast as, uh, as Chris Evans, right? How come this doesn't happen ever in the reverse? How come it's constantly in this direction? And how come it's always such not a big deal that you have to uh, feel the need to defend it and the feel the need to actually go out there and, uh, and claim it's hate uh, just because people noticed what you're doing? Uh, if it wasn't a big deal, why do it in the first place? Uh, because it is a big deal. Because this is intentional. Because Hollywood is intentionally trying to do this. This is pretty re pretty crazy. So he responded, and of course, uh, you, you know, the the not a big deal exactly, right? Yeah, this is gaslighting on the next level from Hollywood. This is absolutely crazy. We auditioned many actors for the roles, including actors who look like their animated counterparts. Well, by the way. This is what they should have done immediately. Uh, they should have cast somebody as that. That's pretty obvious because if you are doing an adaptation of that, you should have that. And as, especially, this is an insane thing. This is like a Viking sort of uh, situation. There's not black Vikings, 
or, or Latina Vikings. They don't exist. So having that sort of racial sort of demographic thing in a Viking land, it's cultural appropriation, my friend. That is literally racist against white people, against the Viking people, the Nordics. If you're a Nordic, leave a comment. I mean, I'm sorry. I, I, I hope you feel seen here, <laughs> right? I mean, that's what some representation matters. We chose actors who uh, best embodied their spirit and personality of the characters since the tribe in this version is made up of descendants of the finest dragon fighters from everywhere the Vikings had ever traveled, which is historically far and wide. Vikings mixed with many cultures. Yeah, mostly in the uh, in the Pacific North (laughs) and they were white people and they were blonde. This is totally this is revisionist history and they, they are erasing Nordic cultures intentionally. Vikings may have raided uh, places in North Africa, but they didn't just import a big a a bunch of uh, North Africans out there and and intermix and breed with them and create a North African culture. No, that was done only in the late 20th century when uh, uh, the globalist elites, yeah, I'll get into this, were intentionally trying to destroy white cultures across the world. And that's exactly what's happening here. Hollywood is a big part of that. And and Dubois is, is definitely a part of that as well. This is intentional and it's a lie. It's a lie about history historical facts. It's a lie about cultures. It's a lie about them choosing the best actor for the job because clearly, uh, you know, this should have been somebody who matches the animated series character. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense. And so uh, this is just pandering. It is insane. And it is treating you like you're stupid. And I think that's going to backfire on these people because we've seen this far too many times. I mean, even with the, the Snow White thing, the more that, that people talk about this and the more they respond and they, they fumble over their responses like this that don't actually mean, no, nothing means anything, right? Uh, they, 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 they make these like painted pictures that sound nice, that have no true meaning. Uh, and that's, and as, as that goes through, it rings false and people hate it and they'll call them out more. And as they get called out more, they're going to get frustrated and they're going to start lashing out. We're going to see this this whole thing. It's going to be a Rachel Zegler redux because the actress is going to claim her. Well, I, I know the marketing strategy already. For you, right? The, the actress is going to claim she's getting harassed online and she can't even. She doesn't care about your discourse. You know, we, we've heard the, this whole line uh, over and over and over again as they try to build marketing around being victims of their own racism as they're trying to erase white culture intentionally and then pretend like they're not and then get upset that they're getting called out on it when they made that move to begin with gosh they never do this because here's the thing if they just made uh and they do you know they if they just made a movie uh of dragons in africa or whatever um yeah it, maybe it wouldn't have sold to begin with because it wouldn't have uh, felt as uh as as correct because the, the thing about how to train your dragon is it it, it, it does play on uh, old white culture as well, because all of this comes out of what? It comes out of Beowulf, really. I'm, 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 I'm a literary guy. I write books for a living. And so it comes out of Beowulf and, the, and that epic poem, which of course uh, is poetry from European, European culture and, and white culture. And that's why it resonates. The reason that that comes down, that storytelling uh, has like a collective consciousness level to it because it feels like Beowulf. It doesn't exist in Africa. So it wouldn't work as well. And that's why they never do original stories like that because they know it would fail and they have to play off of this. So they try to shoehorn their little cultural agenda and their little racism into this sort of stuff uh, in hopes that you just won't see it. But you are increasingly and you're not watching these movies and they're getting way frustrated about it. And this is what's happening in the culture today. So there's my little rant. I, I hope that's a, that's a pretty good take, I, I gotta say. Make sure to share this out because I don't think anybody else is gonna tie this to Beowulf. He continues though. Sorry about my rant there. <laughs> We're still crafting a fantasy, not historical facts. So so by the way, notice this is what the Ubisoft did when they tried to make the black samurai. Uh, yes, it, it's for Assassin's Creed Shadows. They, they made a samurai guy and they said it was historical fact. They did this whole thing, getting a fake historian to say it was history. And then once they got pushback, on it this is exactly what they did so notice it's historical vikings did travel all over the world right and then we're crafting a fantasy not historical fact so he tries to have it both ways again this is how you know they're lying Uh, and it's not about the actor and the best actor and all that this is a total lie and it will be revealed in time. We're not making a shot-for-shot shot remake. We st- just stuck close to the key elements and honor the original, which I remain very proud of. 
The teaser features a few of those moments instead of a completely new tale. We aim to embellish and deepen without abandoning the story the fans love. And this is the truth here, guys. They can't create. They can only steal. They can only corrupt. And they can only destroy. And that's what the SJWs do to everything in culture. How to Train Your Dragon is no different. This is a sad thing because it was a nice little fantasy that they can't have anymore because they have to make an agenda out of it and then pretend they don't because they know that the fans are going to give backlash for it. It's not you. Don't let them gaslight you. You're not the problem. You're not the racist. This guy, de Blas, is the racist, clearly. He hates white people. He's culturally appropriating. If, if this was done in reverse at all, he would get the gulag. He'd never be working in Hollywood again uh, because of that uh, sort of thing. And so you know there's a double standard right there in hypocrisy, and that's what makes this so insidious. All right, leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Please smash that like and subscribe button. Join our Fandom Pulse Substack. This is where we're writing the news. This is the Frontline News. Only $5 a month. It's in the description. And please grab for Steam and Country and the sequels, ebook, print, and audio. If you love How to Train Your Dragon, the original, and if you'll absolutely enjoy these books, if your kids love them, they'll enjoy these books. Uh, these are for you. And thank you guys so much for all the support. We'll be back soon.